It's the everything. It's a hands-on work. We do work with 3D. We create structures in 3D. Uh, we create things like this in 3D. We actually design this kind of stuff from scratch. And we print them on the 3D printer over there. Uh, we also do robotics. So that's another hands-on component where we build these robots and then we learn how to code, uh, create code to make them do various tasks. And that can be uh, anything from a really simple challenge, like going a certain distance to trying to move something on a table. Those are the kinds of things that are a lot of fun in Infotech 8. They can learn how to code, they can, which involves learning how to problem solve. I have a former student who um, got into that and he now travels the world as an engineer coding. Um, there are literally tens of thousands of jobs that need to be filled and there's, so there's great opportunity there and it just teaches you how to think. Uh, whether you're going to be doing coding or whether you're going to be you know, working at the airport, anything to do with problem solving. It's a great, cor great course. No, no, I assume nobody knows anything. And uh, we start from the bottom and we work together and uh, to reach our outcomes. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I like the robotics, but I also really like creating things in 3D. So we have things like this. We created, you know, this is designed from scratch totally and then printed on the 3D printer. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. So it's just fun to do that kind of stuff. Get to create your own, uh, literally design and then build your own things right from scratch. Uh, no, it isn't. Uh, I've got lots of girls and boys in this class, um, and I think they both enjoy it, so I try to encourage both uh, male-females to get involved in the class, because uh, it doesn't just cater to one. Well, we start off using PowerPoint, and I teach students how to use it properly. It's, it's abused and misused quite a bit. Um, we learn how to use this software over here. Uh, this is uh, the NXT software for programming those robots. We also use um, some free software for 3D work. This is Google SketchUp, which anybody can download. And we create these buildings right from scratch. Uh, we also use 123D. Here's an example of 123D where uh, we've created, for example, that phone stand. And everything's built from scratch. And uh, so we learn how to conceptualize and then make it work using, uh, using the software. And those are the main, main pieces of software that we use.